hello students and good afternoon <clears throat> so now i'm doing class for class uh, 12 science the topic is second order derivative in the last online class also we did some problems on this chapter that is second order derivative so today we'll continue the uh, problems on second order derivative okay so same exercise exercise 4 page number 322 this is uh, from the section each question carries five marks from the book higher mathematics for class 12 by SND. so we'll do question number three number two in the parabola y square is equal to 4ax you know that this is the equation of the parabola so you have learnt parabola in class 11 so equation of the parabola is y square is equal to 4ax prove that d square y by dx square into d2x by dy square is equal to minus 2a by y cube you have to prove this lhs is equal to rhs okay so here given is y square is equal to 4ax right so in order to get d2y by dx square first you have to find out dy by dx okay so let us find out dy by dx for this equation so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to x so what is the differentiation of y square with respect to x first of all it is 2y into dy by dx which is equal to 4a into what is dy dx of x that is 1 so 4a into 1 is always 4 so or this is your dy by dx you can cancel this 4 by 2 that is it will be 2a by y is that clear now so now again you have to differentiate it to get the value for d2y by dx square so on the right hand side it is 2a by y in this case you don't have to use u by v rule as 2a is constant numerator numerator is constant only the variable here is the denominator okay so if the numerator is constant you can take that variable which is in the denominator to the numerator okay so it becomes y to the power minus one okay so or dy by dx is equal to 2a into y to the power minus one now you can differentiate both the sides with respect to x now write down differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to x now we are differentiating both the sides with respect to x okay so therefore d2y by dx square is equal to now 2a is kept as it is because it is constant now it is y to the power minus 1 this is the function of y this is the function of y but we are differentiating both the sides with respect to x okay first of all you have to take it as x to the power n what is the differentiation of x to the power n n into x to the power n minus 1 but here it is what is n here minus 1 into what is x here y y all to the power decrease the power by 1 that is your n minus 1 what is n minus 1 here it is minus 1 minus 1 into now again you have to differentiate the term which is assumed as x the eti mata in esco differentiation esco differentiation eti mata gore mane that is wrong okay again you have to differentiate the term which is assumed as x i mean like y line x samje ko to y line ferry differentiate garnu parcha with respect to x okay so yo kati bha aba what is the differentiation of y with respect to x it is dy by dx so here you have to write dy by dx i think you have understood it so let us simplify it or d2y by dx square is that clear D, d2y by dx square is equal to now it is plus and minus minus 2a into this is your minus minus 2a minus is taken outside so minus 2a then y to the power minus 2 y to the power minus 2 into what is the value for dy by dx again it is 2a by y so you have to write here 2a by y right so or this is your d2y by dx square is equal to minus 2a into 2a so this is your 4a square 
divided by y square is taken to the uh, denominator to make it y to the power 2 y to the power minus 2 it becomes 1 upon y square into 1 upon y right so or d2y by dx square is equal to minus 4a square upon y cube so this is the value for d2y by dx square which is equal to minus 4a square upon y cube so just now we got the value for d2y by dx square now you have to find out d2x by dy square so in order to get d2x by dy square first of all you have to get the value for dx by dy right so um, we got the value for dy by dx is equal to a by y for from here from here inverting both the sides we can get the value for dx by dy so what is dx by dy is equal to y upon 2a right so here you can write uh, since dy by dx is equal to 2a by y now inverting both the sides what do we get dx by dy is equal to y upon 2a right so now now you can differentiate both the sides with respect to y now y is in the denominator and since you have to get d2x by dy square you have to differentiate both the sides with respect to y okay so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to y so it is d2x by dy square is equal to it is 1 upon 2a into what's about d by dy of y what is the differentiation of y with respect to y that is d by dy of y is always 1 okay so we have got the value for d2x by dy square which is equal to 1 upon 2a so is it clear to all of you now let us prove lhs is equal to rhs so therefore lhs what is lhs here it is d2y by dx square into d2x by dy square okay now let us put the value now let us put the value which is equal to what is d2y by dx square just now we got the value for d2y by dx square which is equal to minus 4a square minus 4a square upon y cube into now what is the value for d2x by dy square just now we got it d2x by dy square is 1 upon 2a it is 1 upon 2a so here you can cancel the similar terms here 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4a and square gets cancels so which is equal to what is the final answer here it is minus twice a into 1 is minus twice a divided by this is y cube into 1 is this is your y cube so we have proved the required result so which is equal to right hand side so which is minus 2a upon y cube okay so now you can copy it now we'll do the next question now so now we'll do the next question that is uh, four number one if x is equal to cos t and y is equal to log t so this x and y are expressed in terms of a third variable t t is a parameter here so this equation is known as parametric equation so you have to prove that at t is equal to pi by 2 d2y by dx square plus dy by dx whole square is equal to 0 okay so from this given parameter equation you have to get the value for dy by dx first then you have to get the value for d2y by dx square okay so here given is x is equal to cos t let us take the differentiating both the sides let us take the differentiation of both the sides with respect to t so let us get dx by dt first so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to t so therefore this is your dx by dt is equal to what is d by dt of cos t it is minus sine t let us mark it number one again again what is the other equation this is y is equal to log t 
So now differentiating both the sides, <coughs> differentiating both the sides with respect to t, therefore what is dy by dt? What is dy by dt of log t? That is it is 1 upon t. Let us mark it as number 2. Okay. Now you have to find out dy by dx from 1 and 2. So what will you do with this 1 and 2 to get dy by dx? You have to divide 2 by 1. Right. So dividing 2 by 1. So dividing 2 by 1. So what do we get dividing 2 by 1? Now write down left hand side of number 2 in the numerator. That is dy by dt divided by write down left hand side of number 2 in the denominator that is your dx by dt which is equal to write down write down right hand side of number 2 in the numerator that is 1 by t divided by now write down right hand side of number 1 in the denominator that is minus sin t that is your minus sin t okay so what is the value for dy by dx here so it is dy by dx is equal to minus 1 upon. So both this t and sin t are in the denominator. Both this t and sin t are in the denominator. So you can write t into sin t. So I think uh, you have understood it. So let us mark it as number 3. Again you have to differentiate it to get the value for d2y by dx squared. So first of all, get the value for dy by dx at t is equal to pi by 2. Okay. So at t is equal to pi by 2. So d2y by dx squared, d2y by dx squared is equal to minus 1 upon, uh, it is minus 1 upon, what is t here? It is pi by 2 into sine pi by 2. So you know that what is sine pi by 2 that is your 1 which is equal to minus 2 by pi pi by 2 when it goes up in the numerator it becomes upside down you know that into what is sine pi by 2 that is 1 which is equal to minus 2 by pi. <coughs> so we have got the value for d2 sorry sorry this is not d2 by dx square. this is your dy by dx sorry this is dy by dx okay. So your bull value. So this should be dy by dx but not d2y by dx squared, right? So this will be dy by dx but not d2y by dx squared, okay? So this is your dy by dx which is equal to minus 2 by pi. Now again you have to get the value for d2y by dx squared. So in that case you have to differentiate 3. You have to differentiate 3 both the sides with respect to x, okay? So now from 3 we have from 3 what do we have therefore dy by dx is equal to minus 1 upon t sine t. <clears throat> so in this case also you don't have to use u by v rule for differentiating it because the numerator is constant and only the variable is the denominator that is t is a parameter here. So, but you have to differentiate both the sides with respect to x to get d2y by dx squared. So now before differentiating, take this t sine t to the numerator. So what does it become now? So dy by dx is all minus 1 upon this is your t sine t whole to the power t sine t whole to the power 1, isn't it? So minus 1 upon in the denominator, actually t sine t means it is t sine t whole to the power 1. So when it goes to the numerator, what does it become? So you can write here dy by dx is equal to minus t sine t whole to the power minus 1. So it becomes t sine t whole to the power minus 1. That is t sine t all to the power 1 is there when it is taken to the numerator it becomes t sine t whole to the power minus 1. Now you can differentiate both the sides with respect to x. So differentiating both the sides so differentiating both the sides with respect to x right. So therefore this is your d2y by dx square. Now how will you differentiate it? You have to take it as x to the power n. What is the differentiation of x to the power n? 
n into x to the power n minus 1. So here minus 1 becomes the coefficient, comes in the front, minus into minus plus 1. You don't have to write that one. So it is t sine t whole to the power, decrease the power by 1, which is minus 2, into again differentiate the term which is assumed as x. That is t sine t was assumed as x. Now you have to differentiate this t sine t with respect to x. So which is d by dx of this is your t sine t. So I think you have understood it. So copy it. Now we'll do the next step. So I think you have understood it. Now again, so now you have to differentiate this part. That is you have to take the differentiation of t sine t with respect to x. And so now let us do it here. So now, or this is d2y by dx square. Again, you can convert into 1 upon t sine t whole square. 1 upon, this is your t square sine square t, isn't it? It will be 1 upon t sine t whole square. If you simplify it, you will get t square sine square t. Now, differentiate t sine t with respect to x. You have to use UV rule. Now T remains as it is. Take the differentiation of sine T with respect to X. This will be cos T into DT by DX. Is that clear? Sine T go differentiation is equal to pi T form. Sine T go differentiation pi like X cos T into again you have to differentiate T with respect to X. That is DT by DX. Is that clear? Plus now which function is kept as it is now? sin t is kept as it is into take the differentiation of t with respect to x what is it it is dt by dx so i think uh, you have understood it now you have to put the value for dt by dx now you can put it or d2y by dx square is equal to 1 upon this is your t square sin square t within second bracket now put the value for dt by dx here t into cos t into what was dt by dx can you tell me uh, dx by dt was minus sin t dx by dt is equal to minus sin t what is dt by dx minus 1 upon sin t minus 1 upon sin t so i think uh, you have understood it okay plus sin t plus sin t into into again what was dt by dx it is minus 1 by sin t into minus 1 by sin t so i think uh, you have understood it okay now let us simplify it first or d2y by dx square is equal to uh, now here you can uh, simplify it here sin t sin t gets cancels so numerator will be this is minus sign isn't it so in the numerator you can write minus t into what is cos t by sin t it is cot t right plus or minus minus this is your one and now this is t square sin square t so sorry this is cot t no so minus t is cos t by sin t when you got your cot t this is cot t cos t by sin t is what cot t i had written here cos t that is wrong but it should be cos t divided by sin t is cot t okay so divided by whole divided by t square sin square t so i think you have understood it now in this case just now we have got the value for d2y by dx square d2y by dx square in terms of t the question of this is uh, you have to put the value for t which is equal to pi by 2 so putting t is equal to pi by 2 putting t is equal to pi by 2 therefore d2y by dx square is equal to minus pi by 2 into cot 
pi by 2 minus 1 whole divided by what is t whole square pi by 2 whole square into sine square pi by 2 so i think you have understood it okay so you can copy it now we will use the value now what is the value for sine pi by 2 what is the value for cot pi by 2 now we will use the value now so you can copy it so or now d2y by dx square d2y by dx square is equal to uh, this is your minus pi by 2 into what is the value for cot pi by 2 cot 90 is always 0 you know that 0 minus 1 divided by this is your what is pi by 2 holy square this is pi square by 4 into what is sine square pi by 2 what is sine pi by 2 that is your 1 so this is your 1 holy square is that clear so now let us simplify it so it is d2y by dx square is equal to in the numerator minus pi by 2 into 0 that is 0 so it's only minus 1 divided by 1 square is 1 1 into pi square by 4 is this is your pi square by 4 or what is the value for d2y by dx square is equal to this is minus 4 by pi square so at t is equal to pi by 2 we have got both the values of dy by dx as well as d2y by dx square so at t is equal to pi by 2, what was dy by dx? It is minus 2 by pi. At t is equal to pi by 2, what is the value for d2y by dx square? Is equal to minus 4 by pi square. Now you have to prove that LHS is equal to RHS. So in the question, you have to prove that d2y by dx square plus dy by dx whole square is equal to 0. You prove left hand side is equal to 0. Now you have to write down the left hand side now. So LHS is... What is LHS? D2y by dx square plus it is D2y by dx square plus dy by dx whole square plus it is dy by dx whole square. Right? Now let us put the values. What is D2y by dx square? It is minus 4 by pi square. It is minus 4 by pi square plus what is dy by dx? Just now we got it. What is dy by dx? Minus 2 by pi it is minus 2 by pi whole square right so let us simplify it further which is equal to minus 4 by pi square plus minus whole square is plus you know that minus time I mean, do you put a plus answer what is 2 square 4 divided by pi square so both of these will be cancelled which is equal to 0 so it is proved so I think you have understood it so you can copy it so now we'll do the next question. So now we'll do the next question that is four number two. If x is equal to t square plus two t, y is equal to t cube minus three t. So prove that d2y by dx squared is equal to 3 divided by 4 into t plus 1. So here in the question, uh, the two variables x and y are expressed in terms, in terms of a thought variable t. Here t is a parameter and this equation is known as parametric equation. So you have to differentiate this parametric equation to prove the value for d2y by dx squared which is equal to 3 upon 4 into t plus 1. Okay. So here given is x is equal to t square plus 2t. Now take the differentiate, uh, take the differentiation. You have to take the differentiation of this both sides of function with respect to t. So now write down differentiating both the sides. Differentiating both the sides with respect to t. So this is your dx by dt is equal to how much is it? For t squared it is 2t plus for 2t it is 2. Or you can uh, you can take common here. 2 is common within bracket t plus 1. 
so this is your number one so this is the value for dx by dt again again what is the other one y is equal to t cube minus 3t so in this case also you can differentiate both the sides with respect to t take the differentiation of both the sides with respect to t so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to t so therefore this is your dy by dt is equal to and now take the differentiation of the first term what is this differentiation this is your 3t square minus 3t over only 3 right so now therefore dy by dt is equal to dy by dt is equal to 3 is taken common so within bracket what do we get here 3 is taken common so what do we get in this case it is t square minus 1 is that clear to all of you so let us mark it as number 2 okay now in order to get the value for dy by dx you have to divide 2 by 1 right so let us write here dividing 2 by 1 so dividing 2 by 1 so what do we get what are we getting out here so therefore dy by dt divided by dx by dt which is equal to now on the right hand side what will you write you have to write down right hand side of number one in the numerator that is 3 into t square minus 1 divided by in the denominator what will you write you have to write down right hand side of number one which is 2 into t plus 1 so 2 into t plus 1 is that clear to all of you now you simplify it so left hand side is dy by dx now you can simplify this right hand side further as you know that this t square minus 1 is a square minus b square isn't it that is your a plus b into a minus b so it is 3 into t plus 1 into t minus 1 divided by this is 2 into t plus 1 so i think you have understood it okay so here you can cancel this 2 plus 1 t plus 1 will be cancelled so what do we write here now so dy by dx is equal to 3 by 2 into t minus 1 is that clear to all of you so i think you have understood it again you have to differentiate it with respect to x to prove this d2y by dx square is equal to 3 divided by 4 into t plus 1 okay so you copy it now in the next step we'll differentiate both the sides with respect to x okay so we can copy it note it down and so now we'll do it here now again you will differentiate both the sides with respect to x to get the value for d2y by dx square okay so now here you write again differentiating both the sides both the sides with respect to x okay so now it is d2y by dx square this is your d2y by dx square is equal to 3 by 2 is constant so within bracket you have to differentiate t with respect to x t is also a variable t is a parameter that means it is a variable parameter means variable okay so you have to differentiate t with respect to x don't write one here d by dt of t is one yet the amulet both side line uh, with respect to t differentiate got a say your t code differentiation with respect to t k one but we are differentiating both the sides with respect to x okay so 3 by 2 is constant what is the differentiation of t with respect to x because we are differentiating both the sides with respect to x so what is the differentiation of t with respect to x it is dt by dx and for one it is zero so i think you have understood it okay now in the next step so it is d2y by dx square is equal to 3 by 2 within bracket you have to put the value for dt by dx so from this one you can put the value for dt by dx 
but in number one we have got the value for dx by dt is equal to 2 into t plus 1 so you can invert both the sides so what is dt by dx you can invert both the sides here so the value for dt by dx will be equal to 1 upon 2 into t plus 1 so it is 1 upon 2 into t plus 1 so I think you have understood it okay so now what is d2y by dx squared so d2y by dx squared is equal to 3 ones are 3 divided by this is 2 twos are 4 this is 2 twos are 4 within bracket t plus 1 so that is the answer so I think you have understood it so we have proved the required result that is d2y by dx squared is equal to 3 divided by 4 into t plus 1 so it is done it is proved so we have proved we have proved the required result okay so you can copy it so now we'll do the next question So now we'll do the next question that is four number three. The question is if y is equal to a e to the power t root two plus b e to the power minus t root two and x is equal to sine t. Here also y and x are the two variables and they are expressed in terms of a third variable t and here t is a parameter and this equation is also known as parametric equation. And from this parameter equation, you have to prove that 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x dy by dx is equal to 2y. You have to prove this relation. So this is quite a complicated problem. Let's do this problem now. So let us find out first dy by dt. Okay. So here given is y is equal to a e to the power t root 2 plus b e to the power minus t root 2 so let us differentiate both the sides with respect to x so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to t first okay so let us find out dy by dt so dy by dt is equal to a is constant remains as it is into this is just like your e to the power t what is the differentiation of e to the power t with respect to t? It is e to the power t, e to the power t root 2. Again, you have to differentiate the term which is assumed as t with respect to t. So what is d by dt of t root 2? This is your root 2. I think you have understood it. Okay. Then next plus b into again differentiate e to the power minus t root 2. Uh, so you can take it as e to the power t. What is the differentiation of e to the power t? e to the power minus t root 2 into again differentiate the term which is taken as t. So here minus t root 2 was taken as t. So what is this differentiation with respect to t? So which is into minus root 2. So it is dy by dt is equal to root over 2 a e to the power t root 2 plus or minus minus so now it is root over 2 b e to the power minus t root 2 so i think uh, you have understood it okay so here root 2 is taken common now you can take common okay or dy by dt is equal to root 2 is taken common within bracket a e to the power t root 2 minus b e to the power minus t root 2 so let us mark it as number one so i think uh, you have understood it okay uh, next what will you do now next x is equal to sine t is there now you have to differentiate this x is equal to sine t again with respect to t okay so here again again here x is equal to sine t is given so let us differentiate it both the sides with respect to t so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to t okay 
So what do we get now? Therefore, this is dx by dt is equal to what is d by dt of sine t? You know that it is cos t. So let us mark it as number two. So this is your number two. Now, since you have to get dy by dx, so what will you do with this one and two? You can divide one by two, okay? So you divide one by two to get the value for dy by dx. So dividing, dividing one by two. So therefore, write down left hand side of number one in the numerator. That is your dy by dt divided by dx by dt, which is equal to, on the right hand side, write down right hand side of number one in the numerator. So therefore, root over two within bracket, a e to the power t root two, then minus b e to the power minus t root two. This whole divided by, whole divided by, in the denominator on the right hand side, you have to write down right hand side of number two. That is your cos t. So I think you have understood it. So let us simplify it here. So it is dy by dx, which is equal to. It is dy by dx, right? So dy by dx here, dt dt gets cancels, okay? So it is root over two within bracket a e to the power t root two minus b e to the power minus t root two. This whole divided by this is your cos t. Is that clear to all of you? Now again you have to differentiate both the sides with respect to x to prove this required result. So uh, in the given result to be proved there is no term containing t out here. You have to eliminate t from here. Okay, so let us cross multiply it. Okay, so cos t like cross multiply of the This is your cos t into dy by dx, which is equal to on the right hand side, write down. It is root 2 within bracket a e to the power t root 2 minus b e to the power minus t root 2. So bracket closed. But in this case, you can write this cos t in terms of sine t. What is the formula for cos t in terms of sine t? It is root over 1 minus sine square t, isn't it? So write down. So now we have next system or cos t root over 1 minus sine square t. So why are we writing this cos t in terms of sine t? Because instead of sine t, you can put x out here. So t will be eliminated on the left hand side. Okay. So now dy by dx is equal to keep the right hand side as it is. K no go right hand side. That is root over 2. Then it is a e to the power t root 2 minus b e to the power minus t root 2. Bracket closed. Is that clear to all of you? So I think you have understood it. Now you have to, uh, now instead of sine t, you put the value of sine t here. What is the value of sine t? But this cannot be replaced because there is plus sign here. Okay. So now instead of sine t, what do we write here? X. So or this is root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx is equal to root 2. Right. Then it is a e to the power t root 2 minus b e to the power minus t root 2 so this bracket is closed so i think you have understood it okay so abhami differentiate also let us differentiate both the sides with respect to what x so write down so differentiating both the sides with respect to x so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to x okay now we are differentiating both the sides with respect to x so or you can use uv rule here keeping root over 1 minus x square as it is root over 1 minus x square into take the differentiation of dy by dx with respect to x that is your d2y by dx square is that clear to all of you so now keeping dy by dx as it is, take the differentiation of root over 1 minus square with respect to x plus. So it is 
1 by this is root over x form 1 by 2 root over 1 minus x square again take the differentiation which is, take the differentiation of the term which is assumed as x your 1 minus x square was assumed as x what is this differentiation into minus 2x into what will you write here it is dy by dx is equal to now we will differentiate the right hand side with respect to x copy it So now up to here, I think you have understood it. So which is equal to now on the right hand side, I am rubbing it. Now on the right hand side, you have to differentiate e to the power t root 2 as well as e to the power minus t root 2 with respect to x, right? So now here root 2 remains as it is within third bracket a into what is the differentiation of e to the power t root 2 let us take it as x first what is the differentiation of e to the power x e to the power x that is your e to the power t root 2 into what we do right now now we have to differentiate the term which is assumed as x with respect to x here t root 2 was assumed as x now take the differentiation of t root 2 with respect to x what is it it is root 2 into dt by dx. Is that clear to all of you? I think I've understood it. Okay. Similarly, minus b is kept as it is because it is constant. Now differentiate e to the power minus t root 2. Let us take it as e to the power x. What is the differentiation of e to the power x? It is e to the power x. That is e to the power minus t root 2 into. Again, take the differentiation of the function which is assumed as x. In this case, minus t root 2 was assumed as x. So what is this differentiation with respect to x? It is into uh, minus root 2 is constant into dt by dx. Here third bracket is closed. So I think you have understood it. Okay. So now in the next step, you have to simplify it further. Okay. So let us simplify it now. So here 2 to gets cancels. You can cancel that 2 to okay so or now it is root over 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square plus or minus minus right so this is x upon root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx is that clear to all of you so which is equal to on the right hand side so what is common within this third bracket? It is root over 2 into dt by dx is common. You can take it outside. So root over 2 into root over 2 into d, dt by dx is taken common. So within third bracket, what do we get? You tell me. So dt by dx, root 2 dt by dx is taken common. A e to the power, A e to the power t root 2, right? So minus to minus plus it is b then e to the power minus t root 2 and this root 2 into dt by dx is taken common outside bracket okay so we have simplified it so i think you have understood it so you can copy it copy it then we'll do the next step So let us simplify it again. So I'm rubbing this one, right? So or this left hand side now becomes or root over one minus x square. This is d2y by dx square minus x upon root over one minus x square into uh, this is your dy by dx, right? Uh, which is equal to now this is root 2 into root 2 is 2 you know that into what is the value for dt by dx we can put it from number 2 right what is the value for dt by dx in number 2 we have got the value for dx by dt which is equal to cos t but what is the value for dt by dx you have to invert both the sides what is dt by dx is equal to 1 by cos t right so it is 1 by cos t now understood this one so now within bracket 
within bracket this term is there a e to the power t root 2 plus b e to the power minus t root 2 what is it it is y isn't it so instead of a e to the power t root 2 plus b e to the power minus t root 2 we can write y here now so you can write y here i think you have understood it is that clear now so let us simplify it further now again this cos t should be written in terms of x or y so you know that cos t is root over 1 minus sin square t you know that you have to convert this cos t in terms of sin t in order to simplify it right so or this is your root over 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x upon root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx which is equal to this is 2y 2y divided by what is cos t in terms of sin t it is root over 1 minus sin square t it is root over 1 minus sin square t so why are we converting it to it into sin square t why are we converting this cos t in terms of sin t that is root over 1 minus sin square t so that we can put the value of sin t what is the value of sin t here sin t is x right so or root over 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x upon root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx is equal to this is your 2y divided by root over 1 minus what is sine t actually x so this is your what is sine square t this is your x square i think you have understood it now so in the next step what will you do now you can cross multiply this you can cross multiply by root over 1 minus x square you can do cross multiplication here isn't it so or this is your root over 1 minus x square within bracket root over 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x upon root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx bracket closed which is equal to 2y so we have crossed multiplied by root over 1 minus x square it is taken to the left hand side is that clear now so now next in the next step uh, you can multiply left hand side you can you can multiply left hand side by root over 1 minus x square right so or this one what is root over 1 minus x square into root over 1 minus x square that is your 1 minus x square right so root over 1 minus x square into root over 1 minus x square will be root over 1 minus x square whole square and the square root and the square will be removed you will get just 1 minus x square so it is d2y by dx square d2y by dx square then minus sign again multiply x by root over 1 minus square into root over 1 minus square this will be cancelled you will get minus x dy by dx minus x dy by dx right so which is equal to what is there on the right hand side which is equal to 2y so we have proved the given result so it is done proved it is quite complicated okay so now we'll do the next problem So now we'll do the next question that is uh, five number one. If s is equal to half log of within bracket one plus t upon one minus t, you have to find out the values of ds by dt and dt by ds, and also you have to verify the following relations. Number one is ds by dt into dt by ds is equal to one, and number b d2s by dt square is equal to minus within bracket ds by dt whole cube into d2t by ds square so from given you have to get the value for ds by dt and dt by ds both and you have to uh, verify the following uh, you have to verify the following two relations okay so let us write down given here here given is here given is s is equal to a half log of 
1 plus t divided by 1 minus t. So before differentiation, let us simplify or you can use the properties of logarithm here. It is just like your log of a by b. What is log of a by b? Log a minus log b. You know that, isn't it? So or s is equal to half within second bracket. What is log a minus log b here? It is log of 1 plus t minus log of 1 minus t. Second bracket is closed. So let us find out ds by dt first. So ds by dt. That means differentiating both the sides with respect to t. <coughs> so differentiating both the sides. Differentiating both the sides with respect to t. Right? So therefore this is your ds by dt is equal to half within second bracket now we are differentiating both the sides with respect to t what is the differentiation of log of 1 plus t with respect to t this 1 plus t is taken as t what is the differentiation of log t it is 1 by t so here it is 1 upon 1 plus t into again differentiate the term which is assumed as t 1 plus t was assumed as t so what is the differentiation of 1 plus t it is 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 minus Similarly, what is the differentiation of log of 1 minus t? Similarly, it is 1 upon 1 minus t into take the differentiation of 1 minus t with respect to t, it is minus 1. So here, second bracket is closed. So I think you have understood it. Okay. So or this is your ds by dt is equal to half within second bracket. What's the LCM here? It is 1 plus t into 1 minus t is the LCM. So this LCM is divided 1 plus t, it remains 1 minus t. So 1 into 1 minus t is 1 minus t minus into minus plus minus into minus is always plus. So this LCM is divided by 1 minus t, what remains? 1 plus t. So it is 1 plus t. Second bracket is closed. So here tt gets cancelled. Cancel them. So what do we get? What is the value for ds by dt now? So ds by dt is equal to how much is it? This is 1 plus 1 is 2 and these 2 and these 2 will be cancelled. So it is 1, 1 divided by what is 1 plus t into 1 minus t? That is your a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. This is a plus b into a minus b which is a square minus b square. So it is 1 minus t square. So I think you have understood it. So we have got this answer. Okay, now we have to find out dt by ds. Again, you write down this one. Again, the value for s was simplified here. s is equal to half within second bracket log of 1 plus t. Log of 1 plus t. Right. It is half into log of 1 plus t minus log of 1 minus t. Minus log of 1 minus t. Second bracket is closed. Now we will find out dt by ds. also dt by ds also. That is, you have to differentiate both the sides with respect to s now. Since we are getting dt by ds, dt upon ds, in the denominator there is ds. So we are differentiating both the sides with respect to s. So now differentiating both the sides, differentiating both the sides with respect to s right so let us differentiate both the sides with respect to s now so what is there on the left hand side what is d by ds of s that is your one is equal to half within second bracket now log of one plus t log of one plus t what is this differentiation first it is 1 upon 1 plus t. Again, you have to differentiate 1 plus t with respect to s. Because we are differentiating both the sides with respect to s. First of all, 1 plus t should be taken as s log s 1 by s. But here s is 1 upon 1 plus t. Again, differentiate the term which is assumed as s. That is, uh, 1 plus t is differentiated with respect to s. So 1, it is 0. For t, it is dt by ds. I think you have understood it. Similarly, 
minus sign is there what is the differentiation of log of 1 minus t first of all it is 1 upon 1 minus t into again differentiate 1 minus t with respect to s for 1 it is 0 and for minus t it is minus dt by ds dt by ds second bracket is closed so i think you have understood it okay so or 1 is equal to half into what is common here it is dt by ds is taken common so within bracket 1 upon 1 plus t minus 2 minus plus 1 upon 1 minus t understood so now let's take the lcm now so we can uh, take the lcm here now so or 1 is equal to half into this is your dt by ds dt by ds and within second bracket what's the lcm here it is 1 plus t into 1 minus t now you know how to simplify it 1 plus t 1 plus t gets cancelled it is 1 minus t so it is 1 minus t plus again lcm is divided by 1 minus t 1 plus t remains so 1 into 1 plus t is 1 plus t second bracket is closed here tt gets cancelled right so 1 is equal to half into this is your dt by ds into this is 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by this is a plus b into a minus b which is 1 minus t squared here 2 2 gets cancels so what is the value for dt by ds here so dt by ds is equal to you can cross multiply it it is 1 minus t squared so this is the answer so we have done the first part that is we have got both the values of ds by dt as well as dt by ds so i think you have understood it so in this case, as I mean, rough ma ds by dt or dt by ds like it. I can use it. I mean, you use going to use it. So here we get ds by dt is equal to 1 upon 1 minus t square. And what is dt by ds is equal to this is 1 minus t square. So I think uh, you have understood it. Okay. Now we have to prove the first part. You have to verify the first part. That is number E. So let us verify number A now. So here number A is, let us verify it. So what is left hand side here? Left hand side is ds by dt into dt by ds. ds by dt into dt by ds. Which is equal to, what is ds by dt now? What is ds by dt? ds by dt is 1 upon 1 minus t square into, what is dt by ds? It is 1 minus t square. So we can cancel them. So which is equal to 1. So we have proved it. Is that clear now? So now let us prove number B now. So let us prove number B now. And for number B, what is to be calculated? You have to find out D2S by DT square. You have to find out D2S by DT square first. So we know that DS by DT. What was DS by DT is equal to? It is 1 upon 1 minus T square. Again, in this case, you have to find out D2S by DT square. That is, you have to differentiate both the sides with respect to T. You have to differentiate both the sides with respect to T. But on the right hand side, numerator is constant and the denominator is the variable. So you don't have to use u by v rule in this case because numerator is constant. So in this case, you can take this denominator to the numerator. Okay. So or ds by dt is equal to 1 minus t square whole to the power minus 1. So let us differentiate both the sides with respect to t now. So differentiating both the sides, differentiating both the sides with respect to t. Okay. So now let us differentiate it. So with respect to t, we are differentiating both the sides. So it is d2s by dt square is equal to, it is just like your x to the power n. What is the differentiation of x to the power n? n into x to the power n minus 1. So it is minus 1, 1 minus t square whole to the power minus 2 into, again differentiate within whole to the power minus 1 with respect to t. What is it? For 1 it is 0, for 1 it is 0 and for, uh, 
and for this for this t square what is the differentiation of t square with respect to t it is 2t is that clear so now let us simplify it or d2 is by dt square is equal to now 0 you don't have to write it 0 into uh, minus into minus this minus into minus is plus so it is 2t divided by you can take it to the denominator so it is 1 minus t square whole square is that clear to all of you so this is your value for d2s by dt square which is equal to 2t upon 1 minus t square whole square okay now we have to find out d2t by ds square so again again what was uh, dt by ds what was the value for dt by ds dt by ds was 1 minus t square 1 minus t square now differentiate both the sides with respect to s now so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to s so it is d2t by ds square is equal to for one it is zero for minus t square it will be first of all it is 2t plus x square for answer what is the differentiation of x square 2x again differentiate the term which is assumed as x with respect to s that is t is differentiated with respect to s t is differentiated with respect to s that is dt by ds i think you have understood it now you can put the value for dt by ds here which is equal to minus 2t into what is dt by ds what is dt by ds again so this is dt by ds which is 1 minus t square so here dt by ds is 1 minus t square so we have put the value for dt by ds which is 1 minus t square so we have got d2t by ds square now we have to prove the relation lhs is equal to rhs okay now write down what was lhs what was lhs now so lhs is equal to so in the book lhs was d2s by dt square d2s by dt square is equal to so what was the value for d2s by dt square it was 2t upon 1 minus t square whole square it is 2t upon 1 minus t square whole square now let us find out the value for right hand side what is right hand side here now so rhs is equal to what was rhs rhs was minus ds by dt whole cube minus ds by dt whole cube into into d2t by ds square d2t by ds square right it is d2t by ds square so now let us put the value here is equal to minus what is ds by dt it is 1 upon 1 minus t square whole cube into what was d2t by ds square just now we found it that is minus 2t into that is into minus 2t into 1 minus t square 1 minus t square right so which is equal to now this is minus into minus is plus minus into minus is plus what is 1 whole cube 1 divided by 1 minus t square whole cube into this is 2t into 1 minus t square so i think you have understood it so you can cancel here your 1 minus t square a your 1 minus t square whole cube like all the times 1 minus t square whole square okay so which is equal to so which is equal to how much is that so 1 into 2t is 2t this is your 2t divided by in the denominator 1 minus t square whole square 1 minus t square whole square is that clear now so that is rhs is equal to 2t upon 1 minus t square whole square is it equal to left hand side so here lhs is 2t upon 1 minus t square whole square also rhs is 2t upon 1 minus t square whole square that means we have proved lhs is equal to rhs so therefore lhs is equal to rhs proved is that understood now so you can copy it now we'll do the next question
so now we'll do question number five number two this is also very very important question if x is equal to one upon z and y is equal to f of x then you have to prove that d2y by dx square is equal to 2z cube dy by dz plus z to the power 4 into d2y by dz square so in this case the given here is x is equal to 1 upon z this first one is given and the second one is y is equal to f of x then you have to prove that this d2y by dx square is equal to 2z cube dy by dz plus z to the power 4 into d2y by dz square okay so in this case all these x y and z are the variable so here it is d2y by dx square here it is dy by dz so x y z all are the variables out here is that clear now so next what will you do here is now given here is so first of all y is equal to f of x is given so instead of x you put 1 by z okay so or y is equal to f of 1 by z okay so now let us differentiate both the sides with respect to z so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to z so what do we get therefore dy by dz is equal to f dash of 1 by z into again you have to differentiate the term 1 by z with respect to z what is this differentiation it is minus 1 by z square is that clear so first of all you are differentiating both the sides with respect to z that is your dy by dz is equal to this is in the form f of x f dash of x x means 1 by z here again you have to differentiate 1 by z with respect to z so what is the differentiation of 1 by z with respect to z it is minus 1 upon z square is that clear now so now here you can cross multiply here you can cross multiply by z square here so what do we get z square into dy by dz is equal to minus f dash of 1 by z minus f dash of 1 by z is that clear now so again you have to differentiate both the sides with respect to z so again differentiating both the sides again differentiating both the sides with respect to z okay so now on the left hand side you can use uv rule on the left hand side you can use uv rule here so let us use uv rule here so z square is kept as it is into differentiate dy by dz it is d2y by dz square plus next now keeping dy by dz as it is take the differentiation of z square with respect to z so it is plus 2z into dy by dz dy by dz which is equal to now again you have to differentiate the right hand side minus what is the differentiation of f dash it will be f double dash it will be f double dash of 1 by z into now again differentiate 1 by z with respect to z which is minus 1 upon z square which is minus 1 upon z square is that clear to all of you so now let us cross multiply by z square now we have to prove this result isn't it that is d2y by dx square is equal to 2z cube dy by dz plus z to the power 4 into d2y by dz square okay now here you cross multiply by z square here so it is z to the power 4 into d2y by dz square plus 2z into z square that is your 2z cube into dy by dz is equal to now this is your minus into minus plus so minus into minus is plus so it is f double dash of 1 by z so is that clear now so your right side go left side my legs left side go right side my legs so pay so pay terms the family side change got the very sign change gone up for the inner takes up your right side go left side my left side go right side my leg the very you don't have to change the sign so what do we get here now 
this is f double dash of 1 by z is equal to it is z to the power 4 into d2y by dz square plus 2z cube into dy by dz 2z cube into dy by dz so i think uh, you have understood it okay so now instead of 1 by z what can we put instead of 1 by z we can put x out here okay so now so therefore f double dash of instead of 1 by z you have to write x which is equal to z to the power 4 into d2y by dz square plus 2z cube into dy by dz so let us mark it as number one okay so we have got the right hand side but on the left hand side it is d2y by dx square so now you have to prove that f double dash of x is equal to d2y by dx square okay so now we can prove it from y is equal to f of x again y is equal to f of x again y is equal to f of x now write down differentiating both the sides so differentiating both the sides with respect to x so what do we get dy by dx is equal to f dash of x right again you differentiate both the sides with respect to x again differentiating both the sides both the sides with respect to x right so again differentiating both the sides with respect to x right so or now take the differentiation of dy by dx with respect to x what is it it is d2y by dx square is equal to now on the right hand side what is the differentiation of f dash of x this is your f double dash of x is that clear now now you can put the value for f double dash of x in equation number one so putting the value of putting the value of f double dash of x in one no number one my neighbor so now number one becomes instead of f double dash of x what should you put d2y by dx square this is d2y by dx square is equal to now on the right hand side what is there it is z to the power 4 into d2y by dz square plus 2z cube plus 2z cube into dy by dz is that clear now so we have got lhs is equal to rhs so question by your 2z cube or it is your positive set is selling me or it is d2y by dx square is equal to 2z cube into dy by dz plus next z to the power 4 into d2y by dz square so it is proved is that clear now so this lhs is equal to rhs is that clear to all of you so you can copy it now we'll do the next question now so now we'll do the next question that is five number three putting log x is equal to z so that x square d2y by dx square is equal to d2y by dz square minus dy by dz so your given is z is equal to log x or log x is equal to z and you have to prove that x square into d2y by dx square is equal to d2y by dz square minus dy by dz okay so here given here is log x is equal to 1 upon z now differentiate both the sides with respect to x differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to x okay so what is the differentiation of log x with respect to x it is 1 by x is equal to differentiate z with respect to x this is dz by dx 
or you can write it as dz by dx is equal to 1 upon x so i think you have understood it next what will you do since you have to prove in terms of d2y by dx squared d2y by dz squared dy by dz as there is no y here so on the left hand side you have to multiply and divide it by dy right so it is dz by dy into dy by dx which is equal to 1 upon x okay since you have to prove d2y by dz d2y by dz square and dy by dz take this dz by dy to the right hand side so what does it become dy by dx is equal to 1 upon x into this will be dy by dz is that clear so when this dz by dy goes to the right hand side it becomes dy by dz is that clear now you have to differentiate both the sides with respect to x to get d2y by dx square okay now differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to x differentiating both the sides with respect to x so now left hand side becomes d2y by dx square is equal to now on the right hand side you have to use uv rule but you have to differentiate both the sides with respect to x that is dy dx of 1 by x into dy by dz is that clear now so next or d2y by dx square is equal now you have to use uv rule here so it is 1 by x is kept as it is take the differentiation of dy by dz with respect to x okay plus then dy by dz is kept as it is into dy dx of 1 upon x is that clear next or d2y by dx square is equal to 1 upon x into now what is the method of differentiating dy by dz with respect to x so what is the method of differentiating dy by dz with respect to x now first of all in the denominator there is dz right so you first differentiate dy by dz with respect to z that means what will you write here dy dz of dy by dz into but there is dx here here we have written dz but you have to cancel this dz isn't it so what will you write here dz by dx so i think you have understood it okay next plus dy by dz is kept as it is into now you know that what is d by dx of 1 by x 1 by x co differentiation with respect to x directly caught you what is the direct differentiation of 1 by x with respect to x it is you know that i told you already that is dx by d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square so i think you have understood it okay so or d2y by dx square is equal to 1 by x into now what is the differentiation of dy by dz with respect to z yes what is it d2y by d2y by dz square that is what is the differentiation of dy by dz with respect to z what is the differentiation of dy by dz with respect to z it is d2y by dz square into into what is the value for dz by dx dz by dx so value what is the 1 upon x you can write 1 upon x here okay then plus and minus minus 1 by x square into dy by dz so i think you have understood it so let us simplify it again so let us simplify it again or d2y by dx square is equal to now it is 1 by x square into d2y by dz square okay 1 by x into 1 by x 1 by x square into d2y by dz square then minus 1 upon x square into 
it is dy by dz into dy by dz is that clear now so now we have to prove this result isn't it so you can take common here d2y by dx square is equal to what is common here 1 upon x square common so within bracket what do we get d2y by dz square minus minus it is dy by dz so here 1 upon x square is taken common so within bracket what do we get d2y by dz square minus dy by dz so now what will you do here 1 by x square is there you cross multiply by x square here or x square into d2y by dx square is equal to it is d2y by dz square minus dy by dz so we got the result okay so it is proved so i think you have understood it so we have proved x square d2y by dx square is equal to d2y by dz square minus dy by dz so it is proved so i think you have understood it so this much is for today so you revise all the problems that we did today so in the next online class we will do more problems on second order derivative okay